Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I think we're going to work on her eyebrows and eyes. Um, kind of get it. Right now, she's looking a little bit like a zombie. But what I did was very lightly with my airbrush, I did a little bit of just shading more than... Uh, what I did with the washes. I did the, the washes in the previous video and I did the overspray of the original skin tone over those washes. And I wanted to bring back a little bit of that redness because, you know, she's in battle, in war. I wanted to give her kind of, you know, a bruised and battered look. I did a little bit of bruising on her elbow and just like some areas that I thought might be, you know, inflamed, I guess would be the word I'm looking for. And then on all of the places where these tubes go into her arm, I wanted to make those have a little bit of redness to it. So I just very lightly with the airbrush and what this is, is a mix of the, the skin tone color and burnt red from Vallejo. And not a lot of that burnt red so it gave me kind of a kind of like a rosy color Let me get this mixed back up about like about like that how about we get that where we can focus and then anywhere that i thought was too dark then i just went back with my airbrush so what I'm going to work on now is her eyebrows and her eyes to give that, bring that, you know, some detail back to her. And I think I've decided I'm going to go with kind of a dark brown auburn color with her hair. And uh, so we're going to go with a kind of a darkish brown eyebrows. Let's get going. And I'm going to use model air because I don't have to thin it so much. That is a mahogany brown. One drop of flow improver. Probably about a half a drop. Yeah, that's going to give me that kind of dark brown auburn that I'm wanting. Turn her head upside down. When you paint, you want to just, you know, get everything where it works for you. You don't have to try to paint everything like this facing you. It just sometimes doesn't work. So you just got to do it how, how whatever works for you. And then you're going to do tiny, tiny, tiny little strokes. I may have thinned that just a little bit too much. And there is our base for eyebrows. 
and what I'll do is go back with a lighter brown and do a little bit of highlighting once this is dry. So I think what I'm going to do is get my base color down on her hair because or just just the edges because that makes it easier for me to see how things are going to look. So I was going to use the eyebrow color for a base. And I don't do um, like anything super detailed right now. I don't get up close to the skin. I just want to use this as my reference. Most of this will be covered up. Now that gives me kind of a reference now of how things are going to look. So we can start now. I'm going to go ahead and put the whites of her eyes in. I say whites, but if you guys watch any of my other videos, you'll know this is my eye color. Um, the white of the eye color. Stonewall Gray. Dead white and bone white. Or if you don't want to use game colors, there's equivalents in model colors and model air. And I like to do these on my wet palette just because I draw them out so much. I always start with my base white and add a little bit of gray. A little bit of that bone white. I'll try to get this where y'all can see it. that dry a little bit and start with the iris okay our white is now dry so I'm going to start with her irises and I think I'm going to have her have blue eyes what I'm going to do is start out with an initial black She doesn't really have eye dots. When I say dots, I mean some sculpts have very prominent where the where the iris is in the in the eyeball. Hers are not really prominent. So it's just kind of like a guessing game.
it's just a very slow process because I'm just doing tiny little, little like minute brush strokes. And I kind of have a habit of I will go ahead and paint her lashes like where I want her eyes to be. Just that that strip. And it seems to help me get the eyes in the same direction because that is... Um, you know, one of the hardest things to do is get the eyes both looking in the same direction. But if I, I found that if I do that line on her eyelashes where I want her eyes to look, then they both just come out looking how they're supposed to. I don't know if I'm the only person that does that. Uh, I just kind of happened upon it by accident. If you get out of your line, you can always go back with your... Um, your white eye color and touch that back up. Believe me, there are many times that I have to do that. Okay. And now I'll go ahead and paint her lashes. Her upper lashes, anyway. Okay, so... There is her upper lashes and the base for her iris done. And then there's a couple little spots that I'll have to touch up with my flesh tone because I got out of the lines. So her eye base color should be dry enough that now I can go back in with the base of the blue. And what I'm using for the eye colors. Um, and I may go back and forth and add a little white or maybe a little gray. Depending on what I like. Uh, the first one is ultramarine blue. And then pastel blue. And I may do a little bit of pale blue. But I always start with the darkest. And I've got these already on my wet palette. our blue base and then I don't wait for that to fully dry um, there's not much paint on there anyway so it's going to be almost dry but uh, then I'm going to go ahead and go into my lighter tone of blues Now I'm just mixing in a little bit of that darker blue in with the light blue. And I'll just do like tiny streaks. And if you do what I did and get a little bit down where the white is supposed to be, it's easily fixed. Easily fixed. I have my favorite brushes for my touch-up stuff like that they are very old brushes but they have very short bristles like these Windsor and Newton bristles are a lot longer than those but they make for for great everything else but I prefer a little short one for touching up and you just go back into your eye color and get you some paint and touch up your little your little mess up.
And there you go. Good as new. There's a little bit of blue left, but that's on her lower lid, and that will be black with eyelashes. So, all right. Now, I think we'll go ahead and we'll do her pupil, because why not? Because why not? I'm using my short brush, short brush brush, short hair brush. Roll it to get the finest tip that I possibly can. And I just barely get into that paint. You don't want paint halfway up your brush. I know you can't really see it on that because it's black, but that is just on the tip of that brush. And then I look at her square on. And the iris or the pupil is going to be a little bit above it's you're not going to put it right in the center of the eye because that's not that's not how she's looking or that's not how the the eye is the iris is more towards the top no the pupil is more towards the top and just like with the iris if you do a little mess up, you do a little clean up. And I made her pupil just a little bit too big on this side. Alright, so there we go. That is her eyes all finished. And then I'll go back and touch up her eyelashes because I got a little blue on those. And then I'll do her lower lashes. And then we'll call her eyes done. All right, I'm going to end it here because I'm trying to keep these short. So if you liked what you saw, please give it a like and comment. Comments actually help my channel. So um, yeah, feel free to give it a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to support my channel, there is a link below in the description to uh, buy me a coffee. Actually, it's buy me a bottle of paint, but, um, you know, or anything. Any support would help. This hobby is not cheap. All right. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome.